Hi everybody, um, today I'm going to be focusing on, focusing on trying to show you how to play Shadoogi by the Shadows. Now Shadoogi was a, a tune that they came up with in 1961, um, much altered ever since, but the 1961 version I think is um, a good one to, to learn to play. Um, I'm not going to go into too much of the detail on the first part because obviously it's been well documented on YouTube in the past. But I will just go, I will just go through it for you. And um, also, you need, you're going to need um, obviously your guitar, your amplifier, some reverberation, whatever you've got. Um, also, you're going to need the backing track. Now, I'm using, or I, I've been using the UB Hank one. But if you can't get hold of that, you can go to Gordon Tankring's site and he's got the backing track that you can download and you can play with. It's only it's basically in E, A and B 7th. It's in the key of E. <coughs> and it starts off in the uh, with the B. <laughs> starts off in the B. So anyway... We'll we'll go through um, Shadoogi for you and um, see how we get on. Okay, well let's get started. Okay, so <coughs> we'll go through the 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 first part quickly. So you you the, the the backing track will start and it's uh, about a third third beat in I think where you start the, the on the B. So that's the that's the first the first uh, part of the song. Uh, you're using E A and B seven again there. Um, now there's two ways you can play this. When you're first learning it, if you if you're not used to this 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 boogie type thing, you 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 can do this. You can do that one, <coughs> or I think the the one that, that Hank opts for, he, he embellishes it a little bit by doing this. So you, you've completed yourself with that, whichever you're comfortable with. <coughs> um, but the, the, there's a tricky bit here. When it goes up to the the B, the B when you come to the B section, it goes quite quickly. And then onto the A, um, there's a there's a there's a drag a, a drag back section where it, it goes it starts on the on the A note up to the other A note that one on the third it's an A note it's the third string second fret open A first and then it's and it drags back from the fifth fret then. You're dragging back on that fourth string at the fifth fret down to the uh, the fourth fret of the of the fourth string. Sorry. Sorry. 
So I'll just do that quickly for you again. So, as I say, just glossing through, going over that quite quickly, um, because you can say you can pick it up from, from other, other guys who've done it. But, ba but basically, that drag back is the tricky part of the, of the section. Um, on the A. difficult to do it out of context with a song where you've got the backing track and it's much easier but but you're getting what you get what I'm what I'm trying to get out there you're dragging back down from that there from that fifth fret fifth fret and the full string to the fourth fret of the full string and you'll find that when you're playing that up to speed that will be um, a bit of a tricky bit to get over but if you can get over that you've got the first bit down so we'll, we'll move on to the next bit. So third part, you played the introduction part of, of the basis of the boogie. And now what you're doing now, this part is, is a bit easier, but it will, but it still contains the, the, uh, the drag back section in it. So what you're gonna basically do, use your first, your first finger, your index finger. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna slide up from the F sharp note, which is the second um, fret of the sixth string, and you're going to slide like this. do that but you're going to go through the same 12 bar section uh, the 12 bar um, blues uh, thing by using the say the E string for the obviously for the E part the A string for the A part and we'll come to the B part in a minute but basically you've done the you've got that bit and then the next bit you're doing you're running down here open E for a start And the and the the uh, second, third, and fourth, second, third, and fourth frets of the of the sixth string. Up to the A. Same thing. B. Up down to the E. And that's basically that section complete um, so you should be you should be okay with that but just all you need to do is just open E so you're playing E open F sharp G and A flat G sharp and A flat G sharp A flat same note same note uh, same note Okay, so that's that section. So that's your first two sections complete. Okay, so we're now getting into um, quite a serious bit of um, territory here with this part. Um, you're up at the 12th fret. <coughs> um, you're going to be playing the, the, the on the first four strings. And you're going to be doing this uh, hopefully you'll be doing this that's the bit you're you're going to be trying to to learn on in this section of the song um extremely tricky the 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 main track of this 
is the tw 12th, 13th and 14th frets of the second string whereby you're sort of doing a rolling section like the rolling F, um, idea like this okay so that's what you're aiming at um, and as I say it's quite a tricky thing to do the first three notes are almost as one okay so that's going to take quite a bit of um, getting off I think that is to get that to tempo um, but as I say make sure you, you don't dwell on the, the first note and get to the third note quickly on no, with with your three with your three fingers that's the secret okay we'll get you that part might need a bit of practice we'll go on to the next bit right so we've done this bit Now the next bit, you've ended up on that on that uh, fourth uh, string of the fourteenth fret. Now you're going to do this. So you one you're using that drag back idea again. So it's. From the from the fourth fret to the first for the to the for the first string on the sit on the twelfth fret. You're dragging back from the fifteenth to the fourteenth fret on the third string. So you're jumping over the second the second string. So that's that part. It's a, it's once again. It's all all together. It's quite tricky. And then a limited a limited on this on this webcam. But basically, I'm going to run down now on the second string, right to the second uh, to the the to the third third fret on the second string, it's going to go right the way down, so it's going to go like this, open B, 12th fret, 11th fret, down to the third fret, I'll try and do that, I'll try and do that again, so it's 12th fret, 11th fret, 10th fret, 9th fret, 7th fret, 5th fret, 3rd fret, so I'll do that again, ending up on that, on that bass C, but what I'll do, I'll take the, uh, in the next section, I'll come down to the neck, put the camera down to the neck, neck section and, and do it all the way down for you. So we're we're coming down we're coming down on that uh, from the 12th fret we've uh, I've showed you the first part where your it's an open B open B ending up on that D and open. And then it's a quick one, it's a quick, quick um, uh, slide from A to A sharp and open B on the B string. Down to the E note, which is that one on the fourth string, second fret, and then open, uh, open E on the sixth string which is the, the conclusion of that bit
so that'll so that'll give um, that will also give you something to think about when you're coming down there. But just do it slowly. Do it as slowly as you as you need to do it. Um, you don't unless you can get the backing track and slow it down. You'll have to do it um, uh, um, just on your own. But just do it and get make sure you get the notes all right before you get it up to speed. So it's. I'm sure you'll you'll um, be able to do that once you sort of get rolling on it. So on to the next bit, which is I'm afraid is another really tricky section. I think old Hank um, was uh, he's he's very um, inventive in 1961. He's really he really took his took this one to task. I think. So once again, we're into another serious section of this tune. Um, and what Hank's doing here is incorporating um, his whammy bar into the um, this part, whereby he's kind of playing every note with the whammy. So you're starting off. It's it's. I'll play it without first of all. You go. You start open E, six string. A E and that's uh, th that's that section there so that's the section played ordinary without the whammy bar um, you're actually coming down um, it's quite uh, well it's more like based on the pentatonic I think this 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 section so you're starting off 12 and the six the first string on the 12th fret so that's that section but now when he puts it in with the whammy bar he kind of like does this So it's uh, it's hard enough to do it without the whammy bar. And when you incorporate the ham the whammy bar in, it's even harder because you're concentrating on more than on one thing at a time, and you're trying to get that bend that note to bend. And in between times, you're using the E open and the A open so that's that section complete so do it slowly once again um, incorporate the whammy bar when you can but first of all I would learn it just like this Okay, so that's that bit, and then you're into this bit. You're you're down to the B again. You end up on the B. Right, so that's that section complete there. Right, before we go into the very last section, there's a um, a, a part in the in the song where um, they stop for a, like a, a drum, a little bit of a drum fill in there. You'll hear it when you hear the tune. But what Hank's doing while that drum section is being played is uh, fretting the B string, which is uh, sorry the, the the A string B note, which is the second fret of the fifth string and he's playing the E string 
and the B string together like this, deadened. And then he's going up to the, doing the same thing on the A. Okay, that's that little section while the drum, while the drums are going, while the drum uh, fill is going on. Okay, I'm sure that bit will be quite easy for you to do. So, last section, and uh, a bit of a twist in the towel for this one again. Um, a really good, a really good ending that Hank come up with. Um, I forgot to say on the last section up here on the 12th fret, all those notes are the same. What you're doing is you're playing, you're playing that entirely through what would be the a and the B section of the tune, so you you don't have to alter the notes. You just you just play the let, let the backing track play the E and the A, and you play the same the same notes. But as I say, you then once you come out of that and you go through you go through your boogie again as normal, and then the last section is a really good bit. So it starts off on the um, second string at the fifth fret and basically what you're doing is you're just playing that note on its own that note on its own while the backing track is doing the the rest of it in other words you you're doing this and the backing tracks doing this So you just play that bit and the backing track will take, make the rest of it. So what I the way I did it, I did it like this. Slid it down, slid it, slide it right down to the to the uh, first fret. And what that is, is a, a, a really nice bend. Bend in the second string at the seventh fret, and that's the the uh, the uh, C sharp note on the third string at the sixth fret. So it's To end it, well, I'll do that. Do that again. Sliding down. And you're sliding up then up to the from the seventh. You're sliding from the seventh fret, second string, up to the ninth. Slowly again. That's the that's uh, the ninth on the second string and tenth on the first string together. So the discord, slightly discordant sound. with an E chord to finish it off and a bit of a whammy. So I'll have a look, I'll have a, lis, uh, a look and a listen to what I've just played there and if it's not clear I'll do it again. 
Yeah, it's okay. I, I'm I'm fairly happy with um, with that. I've I've had a quick run through. Uh, there are areas that are a bit grey, but I'm sure you'll be able to rectify those yourself once you get into the tune. And and it's a really good one to have a go at because it's a, it's a it's a fast and um, furious uh, bit of boogieing. Um, and as I say, with all the bits that I've given you there. Um, you've got the tools there to to try and make a, a go of it. You say so get the backing track. Once you get the backing track, listen to the actual. If you can get the record of the of the 1961 version of Shidugi, you'll have all the uh, the things that at your fingertips that you want. And uh, just give it a listen. Keep listening to it. Listen to it over and over again. If you're not familiar with the tune, or if you're not familiar with the boogie idea. Um, just do through it go through it slowly as slowly as you possibly can work it up to speed and if you can get that one off you'll have a very a very good little tune at you at your um, at your fingertips there to play and uh, play it to your friends and stuff and I'm sure they'll be delighted with the uh, with the result so best of luck with that and we'll catch up with you next time so thanks very much for viewing and listening um, and I'll catch up with you later bye for now